multiply. And God formed man out of the dust of the ground. What is the color of the dust of the ground? It's black, brown, dark. And the deeper you dig, the darker it gets. So the first man was a black man. You understand? We do not see ourselves in the book, and that's the main problem. Until we can identify with this book, we're not going to do anything it says. So stop looking at yourself as wannabe. Like I remember when I first came to America, every black American, so-called black American I meet, oh yeah, oh you know, I'm part Cherokee, I'm part this. For some reason I never met the pure native, I mean black American. Why? Because they don't love themselves. They always want to associate themselves with a different race. With a different people, like so that the texture of the hair or, you know, they always perm their hair. Why? Because you don't love yourself. If you love yourself, you're not going to perm your hair. Why do you perm your hair? Why? What does it make you look like? Easier to comb, love yourself. It's not because it's easier to comb, because you want to look like a white man. No. That is where it came from. I have from. a lot of hair like this. this. And my hair love is yourself the way it is. God created you and gave you hair. My hair is Braid so your hair. I got comb big, your hair. Big hair, hair. On it hair. What about all the women who do not perm their hair? What's the problem? Do they have a problem? We don't, no. We don't have to follow anybody. So where did you get your perm from? Who created the perm? Who created the perm? Who gave you perm? Who created perm? Stop following the white man. That's right. Read that again. Grease, stop. Grease does not change the texture of my hair. It does not change the texture of my hair. Perm actually destroys your hair. It destroys your hair, so why would you want to put something that destroys your hair? Because you want to follow your oppressors. That's the only reason. Because everything this man say, you do. And anytime we're trying to bring the uh, understanding that you're not supposed to follow that man, you do not want to hear it. Read. Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. And be thou not. The oppressor. Stop. Envy thou not the oppressor. The oppressor got straight hair. You are envious of the white man, that's why you perm your hair. They give us a crazy ass leader calling R. Sharpton with a pot and perming his hair, talking about he's a black leader. He envies the oppressor, he copies his ways. He is not our leader. Everything we do, we do in accordance to what we were taught by the system, by the white man. Read it again. What's your question? I can't hear you. Come closer. What I'm saying, right? My hair tangles easily. I don't even like to comb my hair. But when I put the perm in it, it takes it out, but it makes it easier to comb. It's not that it's not that I like to change the texture of my hair. So just to make no, to that's make it easier to comb. Because that's me. Yeah, I'm, that's I'm so unique. That's my style. That's your style. Yeah. So I don't. I ain't following nobody. The Ten Commandment. That's not in the you Ten Commandment. It doesn't wicked say. Ways. It doesn't say thou shalt not you cut your eyebrow. Thou shalt not perm your hair. You know the Ten Commandments. Yeah. What, what you does know the Ten Commandments? Command? Like that like said, don't shave your eyebrow. Don't perm your hair. That's, that's the key word right there. You do what you want to do, but you do not do what God wants you to do. You're not breaking the Ten Commandments, though. You're not breaking the Ten Commandments? You put here, you're not breaking the Ten Commandments. You say you know about the Ten Commandments, right? Name the Ten Commandments. No, I'm saying it's Name the Ten Commandments. Name it's it. Not it. Name in the, the Ten Commandments. No, I'm not going to name it. Look, listen to what I'm saying. It's not in the Ten Commandments. You don't know what you're talking about, woman. I don't put grease in your hair. Exodus. I put it in my hair. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of, e out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Verse 3. 
Thou shalt have no other gods before me. What does that mean? What does that mean? No, no, no. You explain it because you're reading The reason it. why I went here is because you got to go to the other laws to help get the understanding of what it means to serve God. You can't brainwash me with that one. Thou shalt not cut your eyebrow. Thou shalt not perm your hair. You can't brainwash me with that one. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt have no other gods before thee. What does that mean? Answer that question. I'm going to get to the hair in a minute. Answer that part of it. No, no, no. Thou shalt you have no not, other gods before thee. Not, what does that mean? Not, You're not even listening, idols. woman. You You're not, not even listening. Idols. You to, well, let me show you, you something. You Sister, you don't know the Ten Commandments. You don't know the Bible at all. Deuteronomy 14 and 1. He asked you earlier about shaving your eyebrows. You said it ain't the Ten Commandments. Like I'm going to show you why you... I'm going to show you in the Bible. Listen. Deuteronomy chapter 14 verse 1. Ye are the children of the Lord your God. You are the children of the Lord your God. You black women and black men, you are the children of the Lord your God. You lost your nationality. Listen. Ye shall not cut yourself, nor make any boldness between your eyes. What does it mean, back. don't make boldness between your eyes? So it means do, just you. shut up and listen. Right. It says don't make boldness between your eyes. Go now that I give you the answer, go you're going to jump to something else. You are a rebellious sister. That's it. That's now you talk about the Ten Commandments. Go back to the Ten Commandments. That's the one. Say, and get me the Sabbath day. Ain't nobody trying. As a matter of fact, God is trying to brainwash you. Your brain needs to be washed from the filth it's in. Your brain is in filth. Give me the Sabbath. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Come on. Remember the Sabbath day. To keep it holy. The Ten Commandments says, the Ten Commandments says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Now you keep talking about the Ten Commandments. Explain the Sabbath day. Explain the Sabbath day. Explain the Sabbath day now. No, you explain it. Show me where it says the eyebrow. We just read it. The eyebrow, you shave your eyebrow, your premier, you ain't gonna go to hell. I'm not cutting my. So what about people shaving their head? You shall not make balls between your eyes. I didn't hear it say that. <laughs> you talking? I didn't hear it say that. It didn't. Oh please, you don't know me. I know you. You don't know me. You don't know me. I'm not cutting myself. I shave my eyebrow. To what God says. We right. gonna tell you what God says, whether you like it or not. Right. Do it on me. Isaiah 3. And Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 3, verse 4. Come on. As for my people. Jump down to 16. Verse 16. Moreover, the Lord said, because the daughters of Zion are haughty. Who are the daughters of Zion? The black woman is the daughters of Zion. But you don't know you're the daughters of Zion. You've forgotten who you are. Come on. And walk with stretch and forth next. And walk with stretch forth next. Always in the business. Fill with gossip. Come on. And wooden eyes. And wanton eyes. Come on. Walking and mincing as they go. Walking and mincing as they go. What is God talking about? The daughters of Zion. The black woman. Read. And making a tinkling with their feet. Come on. Therefore the Lord will smite with who smite with a scab the crown of the head. What does it mean God saying he was spite with the scab on the head of the black, black woman? Would be Meaning their head, bald hair bald would be pulled. That's why they get the weaves, the perms, and all that. Because they're cursed in their head. Why? Why? Because you got a big mouth. And the Bible describes it perfectly. Read it again. Therefore, the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head. Therefore, the Lord You black women are the daughters of Zion. Read. And the Lord will discover their secret parts. And the Lord will discover your secret parts. 
What is your secret boss talking about? Your vagina area, your buttocks area. He's going to talk about that too. Or you've never learned the Bible, but you're going to learn it today. Right. Read. In that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of their inkling ornaments. Come on. About their feet. What is this describing? How the black woman used to dress beautifully in ancient days. You're gorgeous. Read. In their clothes. In their robes. No, you don't dress beautifully in that. We're going to explain it here. Read. In their clothes. In their robes. tires like the moon. Read. The chains and the bracelets and the mufflers, the bonnets and the ornaments of the land. What is that talking about? They used to have gold. Diamonds around their ankles, their wrists, their necks. They used to have beautiful earrings, real gold. Come on. And the head, and the headbands, and the tablets. And you want headbands on your head and tablets. Read. The ring and nose jewels. And you had rings and nose jewels. Read. The changeable suits of apparel. And you had changeable suits of apparel. You had all kind of garments. Beautiful, fine tapestry. Read. And the mantles. And the windows and the crisping bands. Come on. The glasses and the fine linen and the hoods and the veils. Now listen good to this black woman. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. That instead of sweet smell. That instead of sweet smell, the way black women used to smell sweet. There shall be stink. There what? There shall be stink. There shall what? There shall be stink. God says there shall be stink. Right. You know why you stink? That's right. Each of us 
and I, we got our children raising every one of us right here. Right. Come on. And the fire shall be upset out again. Listen. And the wild beast shall change your places. Come on. And menstruous women. And menstruous women. Listen good to this part. Say that again. And menstruous women. And menstruous women, meaning wicked women, shall bring forth monsters. Shall bring forth monsters. Shall bring forth monsters. What does that mean? Wicked women. What, what woman is God talking about? The Israelite woman, the black woman. She shall bring forth monsters. Why? She don't know how to raise children. She don't know what it means to love a child. I'm going to give you an example. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Leviticus 19, 28. And I want Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Get Leviticus first. Leviticus, I'm going to generalize you. I'm generalizing you based on your action. Come on. Come on. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 28. He shall not make any no, no. Here, 29. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 29. Verse 29, listen. Do not prostitute thy daughter. Do not prostitute your daughter. To cause her to be a whore. To cause her to be a whore. What does that mean? What does it mean? Read it again. Do not prostitute thy Listen good. Woman, you've been running your mouth for too long. Any man that follows you is a fool. And I feel sorry for your children. Proverbs chapter 7 verse 10. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot. And there met him a woman with what? The attire of an harlot. With the clothing of a harlot. When I was young, you could tell the difference between a good woman and a whore. But today, but today, it's hard to tell the difference. Read it again. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of a whore. Let's find out the characteristics of a whore. Read. And subtle of heart. She's subtle of heart, meaning tricky. She is loud. She is what? She is loud. She is loud. Read. And stubborn. And she's stubborn. 
Read the verse again so you know I ain't twisting it. Verse again. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of a harlot. There met him a woman with the attire of a harlot. Read. And sucked out of heart. She sucked out of heart, meaning she knows everything or thinks she knows everything. She is loud. She is loud. Read it again. She is loud. She is loud. And stubborn. And what? Freedom of speech. And she's stubborn. Freedom of and speech. She's stubborn. Freedom of speech. Her husband couldn't teach her nothing. That's Freedom of speech. That's how man leaves. Freedom, Freedom, no, Freedom of speech. She said, no, she was me. Freedom of speech. She said, you're not going to be the man. She said, you're not going to be the man, but I'm going to So he leaves. So now you've got four different kids, snot nosed kids, walking behind you that you can't raise. You don't know how to raise no children. You can't raise a baby. Back to 1 Timothy 2 now. You women must be born again just like the men must be born again, according to God. 1 Timothy 2 and 11. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 11. Start up at 9. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. Listen good. In like manner also. I need you to read clear. In like manner also. In like manner also. That women. That women. That women adorn themselves in matters of power. God says women must adorn themselves in modest apparel. But America says no. You can dress how you want to dress. So now you must make a decision. Who do you serve? Do you serve America or the one true God? Read it again. And like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Most black women cannot explain modest apparel. Most black women cannot explain it. What you have on is not modest, sister. I can see your vagina, the shape of your buttocks. You look like a whore. I'm going to tell you straight. Read it again. And like men are also, that women are doing themselves. And God is the power. Just like we came out of the world, we have to conform to God's world. You must conform to God's world as well. You're not God. You're not God. You're not God. And like men are also, that women are doing themselves. And God is the power. Any woman wearing a tight pants, you can see from men call this. Men call it camel toast. When you can see the shape of the vagina, that's not modest. That's whorish. Right. Whorish. Right. right. Read it again. And like men are also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Modest apparel, you cannot see the shape of the woman's thighs either. You cannot see the shape of her buttocks. It's all covered up like the sister with the dress. That's somewhat modest. That's the most modest we've seen. Get that on film. That is the most modest we've seen. What does shame face mean? Shame face means what? White and meek. Meaning what? That's a feminine spirit. But today, most women have a masculine spirit. Freedom of speech. Who taught you that? The white man taught you that. Right. Can you show me that law in the Bible? Show me that law in the Bible. Freedom of speech. I want the law. What's your name? You don't know his name. Just quite no. <laughs> With shamefacedness. With shamefacedness. And sobriety. And sobriety. But we're putting hair or gold or pearls uh -huh. or costly array. Here comes. But which becometh women professing godliness. But women which profess godliness. Read. With good works. The women, black women, are supposed to have good works. Good works. What are the good works these black women are supposed to have? Give me Romans 7 and 7. I'm going to explain the good works. Because I know you don't know what good works is. Romans 7 and 7 or 7 and 12? Romans 7 and 12. Come on. Wherefore the law is holy and the commandment holy. Read it again. Wherefore the law is holy. Wherefore the law of God is holy. And the commandment holy. And the commandment's holy. And just. And just. And good. And good. And good. And good. So when God says the women, go back to Timothy now. So the commandments in God's law is good. Read it again. But which cometh woman professing godliness with good works? You black women are supposed to profess godliness with good works, meaning God's laws. You are supposed, you don't do that, sister. Just be quiet. You are supposed to raise your sons and daughters up in God's laws. If you raise these boys up in God's laws, they wouldn't be in the jails. They wouldn't be six feet under in the ground, in gangs. You help me, you 
Listen good, read on. Let the woman learn in silence. Read it again for her. Let the woman learn in silence. Read it again for her. Let the woman learn in silence. Read it again for her. That's what they like. That's why these single families are broken up. Can't keep a man. Read what God says again. Let the woman learn in silence. Read it again for her. Let the woman learn in silence. One more again. Let the woman learn in silence. Now explain why. With all subjection. With all subjection means when God's laws is being taught, you don't know nothing. Read. But I suffer not a woman to teach. What, what, what did God say? I suffer not a woman to teach. Why or oh why? But I suffer not a woman to teach. Come on. Nor to usurp authority over the man. That's why your families are destroyed, most of you. Because you try to usurp authority over the man. And I'm not talking about the whoremonger man. I ain't talking about him. I'm talking about some of you had good men at one time. But you destroyed him because you had a big mouth. You would not let him rule in your house. You wanted to be the boss. Right. So your man left you. Right. Now you got uh, five different baby daddies and all that. Right. And you want more of your quiet. I'm going to eat the daddy. No, he's not the daddy. I'm going to eat You watch my phone, <laughs> You went on my phone, You see them on my phone. You see them on my phone, right? His servants. You gonna rule the day you spoke against his servant. Huh? Read it again. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. Come on. For Adam was first born. Now he's gonna explain why he does not want women teaching men. He says, for what? For Adam was first born. The word for means because. Because Adam what? Was first born. Come on. Then Eve. Then Eve came second. She came from the rib. What does the word woman mean? What does the word woman mean? What does the word woman mean? It means from man. From man. So what's this about women want to lead the man? The woman want to be the boss in the house? That's crazy. That's insanity. Now let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. A lot of sisters. I li the roaches live there, I can't, there's no room for them. Listen, <laughs> here's Genesis 3.16. Genesis 3.16. Oh, I got everything to back up what I say. Step forward, step forward. Hey, hey, if y'all got something to say, come forward. Say it, and we gonna. I'm not arguing with you, I'm arguing with her. It's like you're gonna tell your husband at the same time you're arguing. Like I said, you're arguing. Unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow. God says he will greatly multiply your sorrow. And thy conception. And your conceptions. And sorrow. In sorrow. Thou shalt bring forth children. The woman shall bring forth children in sorrow. Why did God curse the woman with child labor pains? It's going to explain why. Come on. And thy desire shall be to thy husband. Your desire shall be to your husband. And he. And he, your husband. Shall rule over you. Wait a minute. Wait, did it say 50-50? He shall rule over you. Equal, equal. And he shall rule over you. We're going to teach what God says. God says the husband shall rule over the woman. That's right. You sisters that hate that, you will not get salvation. Right. You will not get salvation. That's right. Because you hate God's laws. Now go back to 1 Corinthians. Go to 1 Corinthians. For God is not the author of confusion. For God is not the author of confusion. Come on. But of peace. But of peace. As in all churches of the same. Listen good. Verse 34. Let your women keep silence in 
the churches. Let your women keep silence in the churches. Why did God say that? Because America has taught you differently. I'm going to give you the analogy. In the garden, in the garden with Adam and Eve, Satan, who did Satan go to, Adam or Eve? Eve? He went to Eve and told Eve, you shall not surely die. You can eat of the forbidden fruit. You're familiar with that. Now, let's bring it up to today. Who does the white man go to and tells the woman, the you woman. don't have to listen to your man? The Israelite woman. That's right. That's you black women. You're the Israelite women. That the white man's laws have taught you, you don't have to submit to your husband. You don't have to listen to nothing he sells. And now you're all on the loose, running wild out here. Now God's laws is coming out. Yes. You fighting against us is not us. Give me that first testimony. They're not the enemy. Four. They are brothers. That's right. First testimony. I love y'all. 421. Thank you, sister. Exactly. And the Lord loves you, too. That's why he's a brother. He that is Christ. Tell me about this. What is that? Come on. First, test good. first Thessalonians 4, verse 8. He therefore that despises. He therefore that despises. Some of you hate us. Despises not men. You don't despise men. We're only men. Your hatred is not against us. But God. But who? But God. So your hatred is really against God. And you're going to pay for all the evil you've spoken against his laws. You're going to pay. You're going to pay. Who's speaking now? Who's coming up? Come on up. Get in. Come on back. Now I pray you sisters can just listen and learn. We're not your enemies. We didn't put you on slave ships. The Most High is raising us prophets up in the last day. Listen to what we're saying to you. Now you have to understand that you are Israel. You are not an African. The only reason that you don't know who you are today is because you were cursed. Sister, can I say something to you? We are in the Bible say that. Render your heart and not your garment. Come on, give me jewel. Give me jewel, please. Give me jewel to church. Sister, you don't know the scripture. You better, you, you better you keep silent and listen good. Because you just keep talking. You just keep talking. First, give me the Bible. First, give me the Bible. Come on. Give me the Bible. This is why black people want to fight with me. Because you don't know the scripture. You better keep quiet and listen. Right there, you have a time that you got. You better keep quiet and listen. What it mean to keep your foot silent when it comes to the house of God? What it mean? What it mean? You know silence? God said must keep silent when it comes and listen to the prophet of God. So just the prophet and teach you this. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. The love of God is not to argue. Jesus, Jesus loves y'all. Have a great day. That's to be a sacrifice of food. These men who are talking when the Bible coming out, they are fools. God said they are fools. That's what God said. Come on. We want to go to Ren now. Let's go to Ren. Because you sisters, you don't know the Bible. You just keep talking. I got to prove to you that no, render your heart and no garment in the Bible. I'm going to show you what it means. Come on. Read. Do well, to us 13. Because you just keep talking, sister. Just listen good. Listen good. Let us see if that in the Bible. Come on. Do well, to us 13. Read. And read your heart. And not your garments. What, what it said? Read your heart. What run mean? If not render. What run mean? What run mean? I'm saying what run mean? I'm saying what run mean? That's what you mean. You need to shut him out up and listen good. Shut him up. Shut him up. Shut him up. You're too aggressive. You're too aggressive. You're too aggressive. You're preaching and you're aggressive. Like you're all here for fight. You're all here for fight. You're too aggressive. No. Come on. Read that again. Isaiah 58, verse 1. Yes. Cry aloud. What God said? Cry aloud. God told him to cry out loud. Come on. Spare not! And we must spare these sisters yeah. who in their sin. Because they want to keep sinning. You want to keep sinning. Come on. Please. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. So I should tell some what God said. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. God said must lift up our voice like a trumpet. And do what? Hey! Show God people. And show God people. You got people. Hey! So God, we show you your transgression. Come on. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come
You know what God said about in these laws, what I think about? Come on. God, hold on. Let me just go to the laws and then I answer your question, brother. Come on. Yeah. Whosoever. Uh, Matthew 5, verse 19. Come on. Whosoever. Whosoever. Therefore, shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach me so. So the least commandments is the outside appearance. Like the beard, the pants, the frontis. This is they don't want to come back to who they are. They still want to be a nigga. That's what the Heather was teaching, man. The sister must get her mind right. But she just keep talking. She don't want to listen. We ain't beating her down. We try to beat you. Back to who you are. Who you were before slavery. Come on. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. What does it mean, the least? He ain't gonna be nothing. You're gonna be killed. That's what it means. These sisters, if they don't repent, they're gonna get themselves killed. That's it. Come on. Because no, if the laws of God don't done away with, we wanna see what done away with. Give me that evil ticket. We wanna see what done away with. We wanna see what done away with, cause the book just said the laws of God done, done away with. Fulfilled. So we wanna see what done away with. Come on. Hebrew 10 and 4. Right. For it is not possible. For it is not possible. Come on. That the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sin. That used to take away sin. Remember Moses and Heron and all these priests that went with Israel sin. That's who we have to go to, the Levi. Who should the Haitian? Those we have to go to for the sin was to commit. For our sacrifice. That's it. Sacrifice of animal. That's it. Come on. Wherefore? When he cometh into the world. Wherefore, when he come into the world, he is Christ. Come, come on. He said, he said, sacrifice and offering, thou wouldest not. So Christ said, we don't need no more animal sacrifice. He said, sacrifice and offering, no. We don't need, need it no more. That's what it said, come on. But the body has thou prepared me. So who's the body? What prepared? Christ. Christ. Laid on his life on the cross. That's it. That's the only thing we're done away with. The animal sacrifice. So the sister that's listen, good sister, we ain't trying to hear your part. We try to take off America for you. We try to take off slavery for you, make it get back your mind, your right mindset. That's it. So why keep talking? Just listen. Come on. Yes. And burnt offerings and burnt offerings and, offering and sacrifices. The most I don't need that no more. The only thing the most I need you to do, keep his laws. That's it. Necessary for them to survive. 